Hey guys, it's Boone. Yesterday, um, some spell mastery stuff got revealed. Well, no, I guess most of this was revealed before, but I felt like this was a good time to start talking about spell mastery a little bit more. So let's talk about spell mastery a little bit more. So the first thing I want to talk about is not really a spell mastery card, but I guess it's worth mentioning anyway because it is a sorcery. Days Undoing. It's a mythic rare sorcery. Three mana, and basically you shuffle your hand and your graveyard and your deck, so does your opponent. Draw Both of you draw seven, and then the turn ends. Um, the turn ends, which exiles everything on the stack, including Days Undoing, it specifically says so, on the card um, in the reminder text. And, you know, everything and it just goes on. Mm, very combo-rific, I guess. Or I guess it's a good reset button, like, if your opponent's trying to mill you out or something, with, especially with, like, a card we were talking about last time, yesterday, Sphinx's Tutelage, like, if they're trying to mill you out with that, or, you know, generally, if your hand is crap, your opponent's got better um, hand than you, um, you know, you can play this, get some reset going, you know, just do fine that way. It can real it I if you use this properly, it's a very good card. If you use it improperly, it's a bad card. One thing worth noting though, um it only ends the turn if it's your turn. So if you have a way to go like quicken into this or something like that, is quicken gonna be in this set? If quicken's in this set, then this becomes a really big combo card. Maybe not in draft, but you can like go quicken and then play this. And just get all your stuff back and disrupt your opponent to hell. Granted, it could be very bad, like, if your opponent has um, only, like, one or two cards in hand. I like to think of it sort of as a um, way to reset the situation. You can use it to your advantage, or you can use it in a way that doesn't end up giving you advantage at all. Um, then we have Dark Petition. I saw this card, and I'm like, whoa... Whoa, wait a minute. Um, five for a sorcery. Two of it has to be black. It's basically Demonic Tutor. You search, you search your deck for a card, put it in your hand. Add three black mana to your mana pool if you have Spell Mastery active. Wow. So black is getting rewarded for playing all the, all their instants and sorceries. Like, they're, like, I can imagine if there's, like, any kind of cheap removal in black... You know, play those and then search out your nightmare or some crap and get some mana in your mana pool to play stuff. Yeah, could be very good. Very, very good. Um, next, we got Fiery Impulse. This was one of the cards that was revealed in the mechanics article for um, for Spell Mastery. Um, it's single red for an instant. Um... You deal two damage to a creature, so removal, you know, or three damage to a creature if you have spell mastery active. So it could be removal, or it could be better removal. It's a more limited version of lightning bolt of shock or lightning bolt in that fashion. I hope we have some like actual burn to players. I've seen a little bit, but nothing really fancy. Um, I'll be honest, I don't think it, it was necessary to put that it only dealt the damage to creatures, I think. Well, no, I guess if it could deal the damage to players, too, that would make that would make it, a, like, way too good in Modern. Um, and probably way too good in Standard right now, for that matter. But, yeah, I mean, dealing damage to creatures is something pretty good to do anyway. I mean, I mean, hey, if you play... Two of, if you play two of these things back to back, you could be dealing six damage to a thing, kill it. Um, or you could play two of these, you know, get your spell mastery active for one of your other spells. You know, it's an, it, it can be a very good tempo card, I think. Um, it can also get, get some threats off the board. Next, we have a green one. This is Pilgrimage. Some surprising colors for some of these cards. It's three for a sorcery. Um... So the way this works is you search for two basic forests. So this is pretty much only good in the green deck. Um, 
And I guess it's fine to, to encourage spell mastery to be used in decks outside of blue and red. Even though I'm sure it's primarily going to be blue and red. But two basic forests. One of them goes into play, the other one into your hand. If you have spell mastery, you get an extra one into your hand. That's a little bit of deck thinning. Um, make sure you're not missing your land drops, which could end up being very valuable. The next block is Battle for Zendikar. It could be very valuable. So, yeah. Seems like a pretty good card. I mean, it's a limited Cultivate that could be even better than Cultivate. You know. I don't see why not. Um, next, um, Jeshin Thief. I, I don't know how to pronounce that. Jeshin Thief. Um, a three for a one three prowess. So we're back at prowess, and the reason I the reason I put this on this particular list, the spell mastery list, if you will, um, basically the reason I put this on is um, you know prowess does work with a lot of the cards that have spell mastery, and it works with playing instants and sorceries. It does also work with playing enchantments, so if you watch yesterday's episode, you'd see some cards that can also work with um, Jeshid Thief. Somebody correct my pronunciation on that. I know I'm pronouncing it wrong. And basically, when it deals damage to a player, you draw a card. Simple as that. Simple thieving magpie type of effect, except with no evasion. Hopefully there's something to give evasion in this. You know, I would like to be able to give this thing evasion, make it easier to hit. I'd also like to do that with a lot of the renowned creatures. Like, the rock smallers you can get in with the trample, sure, if they chump block or two for one them. That's fine, but, you know, other renowned creatures, like, there's a few. I suppose tomorrow could be renowned day. Tomorrow I'm either going to talk a... That's the last card I have. But, but basically, yeah, I would like to see some evasion in this set. Tomorrow... I'm going to be talking about one of three things. I haven't seen what's been revealed today yet. So I'm either going to be talking about one of the big things that I saw, the multicolored cards in the set, and even bigger, considering its origins, multicolored non-planeswalkers. What? Hmm. I could be talking about Renown, or I could very well end up talking about um, perhaps some evasion that got put into the set. I, it really depends on what gets unveiled today um, as to what I'm going to be talking about on Friday. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, you know, leave a like if you did and leave a comment either way. Tell me how awful I am. Tell me um, how good I am. Tell me how to pronounce Jeshen. J Jason? Jason? Dark Magician! That's gonna be it. Um, <laughs> until next time, you guys, this is your friendly neighborhood Boonslayer, signing out. Bye!